victims of Friday night's fire disaster at the Gomba Line, the suburb of Kumasi, have been counting their losses. William Evansinkum recounts how life has become unbearable for victims. The Pelele stream divides one of the largest slums at the Gomba Line. One is touched. Over 200 people are currently displaced. Unquantifiable amounts of properties reduced to ashes. Fire outbreak at the Gomba Line is not new, and any time it happens, it is a major blow. Inhabitants here are mostly headquarters, known in the local parlance as Kayae. Today, they scavenge their own properties in a debris. Friday's night fire has ravaged several structures. The saddest part is that the occupants here are low-income earners who have spent years of building a life here. But everything that they have toiled for over the years has been reduced to ground zero, which means that it will take a while for them to be able to put themselves together again. The young and old come deeply to salvage, but the disappointment is obvious. Naked cables are seen stretched from the ground to the active pylons. 26-year-old Aisha, who has lived here for the past eight years, now has to start all over again. She tells me she has lost all her belongings, including that of her one-year-old child. I just picked my baby and we ran out for safety. I couldn't take any belongings. What we are wearing now are from a good Samaritan, and what my baby girl is wearing is actually for boys. The cause of fire is yet to be established by the authority. William Evans Inkum, TV3 News, Dagumba Line.